Alright guys, so welcome to the video. I don't really know how I exactly want to do this because I don't think we're going to do any pauses for this one. This is two hours, okay? We're not going to go through this freaking presentation with me pausing and sharing some of my thoughts. So, although I am quite the talker on these freaking presentations, I think we're just going to have at it. We're going to go through this. I'm basically going to speak over these libtards as they present the what what is basically the replacement now for E3, right? E3 got super woke, it died, people didn't care anymore about it. And so now Jeff Cayley, whatever the frick his name is, um, he's been at this for a long time, right? Doing these presentations, these, I guess, E3 presentations. He's been at this forever at this point. But so now it's called Summer Game Fest. Okay. Um, honestly, I, I miss the kind of concept of E3. I think Summer Game Fest is a soulless definition kind of name term for what used to be just E3. You know, E3 used to have a personality and people, man, hot chicks used to go to E3, blah, blah, blah. And then E3 was cool. And then they opened up the floodgates, right? It was no longer people who kind of roughly belonged there. Now E3's just kind of about anyone can go and a lot of people will tell you it made it worse and i believe that and i would happen to agree so then because of that e3 died and now we have summer game fest which is just a circle jerk of liberals so oh yeah yeah i i, I can't stand what is happening but i want to also say this bro um i've been watching for a long time a lot of these presentations I used to watch E3 and get super hyped up for new games coming out. I was like, holy crap, dude, this game, that game, the other game, they all look so cool. And by the way, a lot of games, they turned out like crap. Let's just face it. You know, like Watch Dogs, whatever. But the presentations were so much better. The presentations actually allured you with the idea, the concept of what you were being shown. The games looked fun. They looked cool. Nowadays, you look at these presentations and they're all lame and gay, okay? None of these presentations actually entice you. They don't incite your curiosity. They don't do anything for you besides say, hey, this is the death of the gaming industry. Gaming's lame and it's gay now. So I can't stand. And by the way, I don't get excited anymore for gaming. Like I watch these freaking trailers and I'm like, where's the game? Where's the cool idea? Now games have become this weird kind of like representation uh, showcase or something. It, it, it's, it, you know, there's this thing I, I've come to notice with a lot of female made products. And that's what's happened to gaming. It's been absolutely infested with women, which has teared apart and destroyed and ruined gaming. But what I've come to notice is that now it's just people sitting around talking. It's really mundane or generic moments happening that's what gaming has turned into and it used to be what are these like titular characters what are these titular moments what are these like awesome beyond life moments that can be put into a video game or what are these awesome cool themes concepts visual designs whatever it used to be spectacle that defined gaming so you would look at the spectacle and or or the showcase of something that was spectacular in its essence and its form, right? I remember the freaking the division, division one, their freaking uh, first trailer at E3. It got me super hyped. I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so cool. It looks so dynamic. Blah blah blah. It was awesome. It felt like an experience. Nowadays, it doesn't feel like an experience. Now it just feels like. Oh my gosh, hear my story. Oh my gosh, this is what I had to go through because I'm such a moron. I'm a modern day moron who has mental illness. And really, by the way, what is mental illness? Mental sabotage. But again, oh my gosh, I can't take care of my own thoughts, my own ideas up in my head because I'm a raging adult child. So because of that, feel sorry for me. And here's my story of how you need to feel sorry for me because I'm such a loser. I can't do anything for myself. And basically, I'm a perpetual victim 
victim because I, for some reason, I've chosen to believe in a victimhood, in an ideology, and that now I am a slave to my own victimhood. That is what we get now for products, for games, for stories. And now, that's what our trailers are now trying to sell us on, is how mundane, boring, and unstable the people are making the product. So, these are pathetic people trying to sell you something. We don't have cool concepts, themes to sell the ideas that we're being shown, that we're being given. And quite frankly, this is why I've given up on gaming. I I've quit gaming, right? I still do it for the channel, but as a customer, would I still be interested in gaming? No, I've checked out. Women are not sexy anymore in gaming. They don't have, we know what a desirable female looks like. Her eyebrows, her nose, her jawline, her cheekbones, her hair, her body, her waist, her hips, her boobs, we know, her butt. We know absolutely every element of what makes a desirable female. But nowadays, what are you being shown? You're being shown men who are more attractive than women, that's for one. But for two, you are being decisively and intentionally shown women who are not desirable all right so and, and let's again let, let's not skim over that fact though they know what a desirable female looks like they're going out of their way to no longer show to you a woman that is physically desirable they want you to look at women who are either sub-average average, average there, some way, somehow, some form of a woman that is just not that attractive, sexy, or hot, whatever. So anyways, guys, okay. We're going to be, honestly, what I think I'm going to do, we're just going to click play, and we're just going to go right through all this. There's going to be some ads here and there, uh, whatever. We'll just skip them. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, and then the copyright. I have no idea what we're going to do with the copyright. I think I'm going to mute on copyright. All right, let's go. Yeah, what's up, Jeff? These are your freaking left tards cheering you on. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Summer Game Fest 2024. You ready to see some video games? We are so thrilled to be here with you, and this is a showcase of what's next for games live from the YouTube theater here in L.A. Now, if you're watching this show, first of all, welcome. I know everyone around the world is joining us for this special moment. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play games. You deeply care about this art form and the health of this industry. The good news is that we have a lot of amazing games to show you from creators Bro. around the world over the next two hours. If you actually cared about the health of the gaming industry, you would have never gone with wokeness. You're saying this because but the industry is dying because, well, most industries right now are dying because of wokeness. Layoffs, Many, yep, layoffs. Which have disappointed all of us. But there's also something else happening. Disappointed Our you, industry, no. No, this is exactly what should be happening. And thanks you guys have been destroying the industry. You're infesting it with wokeness, ESG bullcrap. You exactly you deserve list, what is happening right now. Of the top 10 best-selling new games on Steam so far this year. Two of them... Yeah, most of them are, are not even that good. ...big company games, but the other eight come from Indian It shows how bad things are getting. It shows how much the quality has dipped. I look at how this world list, was not even that good of a game. Cool, right? And I get inspired that new ideas, new teams, and smaller creators can and will break through. It's a reminder to big companies that they have to treat their developers right because today no. there are many has nothing to do with treating the developers. Has everything to do with the audience. Has everything to do with the customer. What are you talking so, about? So great. And you'll see that reflected in the show today. The only game the that truly was a new idea we'll on that list on is really like Helldivers 2. Batman and Harry Potter, but also smaller I don't know a lot of the other games that he showed, and, that, and that's a huge issue. So those are the titular games that we're going to show that are leading the industry the right now. Oh, look at these new ideas, these new concepts and themes and games. These are the guys who are the trailblazers. I barely know who they are or what they made. It just shows to you how much the industry is dying because of political activism. grow the gaming community. And we are going to do that today 
over the next growing the gaming community there is no community it's a, it's a series of customers with differing interests differing lifestyles just because i buy a certain game does not mean i have anything in common with someone else who buys the same game there are call of duty guys who are surfers i'm not a surfer there's call of duty guys who are i don't know they're artists i'm not an artist whatever Unannounced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh, sure. I get that a lot, but uh, check out my range. Okay, okay. Mm -la -la -la. Rage! Empathy. Oh, hilarity! <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so modern day. I'm gonna bring up the volume here. Certain games are gonna be a little bit louder. Yeah, we're doing Lego Forbidden West or whatever. Sandwich. Or Horizon, I, I, whatever the series is called. No one cares about Alloy, by the way. She's not a sexy chick. If you want to sell a product with a woman in it, make her sexy. You're not going to sell... Uh, no one cares about Alloy. And I don't know what it is. So, by the way, you're going to see this a lot in this showcase. A lot of female-led games. No one cares about female main characters. No one cares about female protagonists. We're sick and tired of this. By the way, of course, that has to be a freaking colored dude. Um, some black guy as her co-op partner. Because everything has to be brave and diverse, whatever. Good graphics, good environments, but that's it. Why do I care about this game, though? Okay, everything looks good. But why do I want to play your game? Listen, if I want to go, listen, making a video game, like a concert or some kind of theatrical event, if I actually want to experience a theatrical event, I'll actually go to a concert, okay? Where there's a bunch of chicks who are dressed skimpily, okay? Actually attractive women, for the most part, kind of. Why do I care about a made-up concert in your game? Give me a video game to experience. Whatever, man. Whatever. Field is the number one movie in the world. Now that's amazing. I can't. All right. I'm not. No, I'm not interested. And stop. Stop with the freaking female characters. Wasn't that fun? That was. I'm not interested by female protagonists. I don't want it. For PlayStation, but also day one on PC. This is exactly what's killing the industry. You think that you're going to attract women? Don't play video games. Women do not play video games. Bunch of washed up, overweight chicks who have nothing else going on in their life. They play video games, and they're the minority. And honestly, they don't even really play video games. They play very few select video games. Games. No more room in hell. Too. Gaming the was propped up on the backs of men. Line. Men are the ones who wanted to purchase dark. video games to from the start. And survive with you have been pushing Here them away, the thinking that if we do a bunch of female-led games, a bunch of female-centric games, somehow we're going to maintain the male audience and somehow attract a bunch of women who were never interested in the first place. Honestly, I regret being here already. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woman who's ready for the job, right? We always have to have a girl boss, man. It's... It's like women who are ready for combat. Women are not built for combat. Women are never ready for combat. When women fight in combat alongside men, they hold those men back. By the way, I, I hate freaking gore. I hate this freaking crap. I hate this nihilistic horse crap. I'm not interested. Okay, yep, yeah, bunch of gore, bunch of dead body parts, blah, blah, blah. I hate the modern lens on products. I hate this trash. It's gore just so that you can be disgusted. There's no purpose or reason behind the gore. Yeah, no, not interested, bro. I'm so sick and tired of senseless gore.
coming this Halloween. Looks really, really intense. All right, to introduce our next game, please join me in welcoming someone who I've known for over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals like Street Fighter VI a few years ago, and of course, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth last year when she was sitting in the audience. Well, this year, she's joining us on stage. We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. What kind of name is that? Thank you, Bruh. Jeff. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share really? some even more super fun trailers. So let's get straight to another well, world. Why, why do we have an obese chick presenting game games? Franchise. You couldn't let's find a look. curvaceous, thin woman to present games. We wizard. grabbed an obese we woman. Soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. Golly, bro. When it comes Frick. to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes? to be the next Quidditch star? Your woman, no. Top. Okay, top. Three, two, Love of God. One. The New York Times calls Bro, these ads are going to kill well me. To beat oh my gosh. All right, we're going to bring down the volume of Ted. To keep your composure in the face of the first. Top performers in sports are men. Your dreams at any price. Whatever, though. Harry Potter is freaking gay, so f have at it. Whatever. Have at it, queers. Have your freaking queer product. So ask yourself, do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of the Brave and beautiful and diverse. Jeez, ladies. Bro, I hate Harry Potter. Harry Potter sucks. I don't give a crap whoever these freaking queers are who are like, eh, I love Harry Potter. It's such a big deal. I don't care. I don't care. What is cool about Harry Potter? Nothing. Nothing is cool about Harry Potter. Stop it. It's not cool. It's not cool. I don't care. Hogwarts Legacy. Don't care. Not interested. That's Harry Potter Quidditch Champions launching worldwide on September 3rd for consoles and PC. Now we move from the Potterverse to a brand new world. It hails from a single developer, Gavin Eisenbeis. And you have some Seattle, people out there, they're like, well, the other nerds like it, you should too. This is why I despise freaking communities. Not only are they police states, but this is this is a way where you, you enforce collectivism. Screw any idea, any notion of community. No, I'm not a part of your crappy little community. I'm not a little freaking nerd. I'm not a little freaking geek. Oh, because this is how other nerds, other geeks, ugh, uh, which that's what we label freaking game. No, screw you. Don't be a freaking nerd. Don't be a freaking geek. It's freaking gay. It's freaking lame. Stop. Alright, so this is like a... Some kind of prison break simulation. Interesting. It has interesting personality, this, um, it looks alright, right? Like, but it, it looks like it's on rails, right? Just do this, do that, but it's kind of cool. You have to go through a series of, I guess, maybe you're solving random puzzles or whatever to get through the levels so that you can ultimately escape. That would be cool. And what, I guess everyone's competing to extract before everyone else? I mean, this could be a cool idea. It's not the craziest idea, though, for a game. Okay, uh, but by the way, games were cooler in concept and theme than this, by the way. Like, am I, am I exactly excited for this game? Do, do, like... Is it cool that games like these are being made? Sure, yeah. And could it be fun? Maybe. That's a fun but one, I'm not. Right? I not uh, do I really want to purchase that game? When I watched the trailer, the first so trailer for Watch Dogs, I was like, I want to buy this game. When right, I watched The Division, when I watched Destiny, when I watched No Man's Sky, I said to myself, I want to buy that game. It looks cool. It looks immersive. It looks expansive. I want to experience this game. Um, that game, okay. Okay. 
during Ubisoft's Star Wars Outlaws again, female-led game that no one cares about. No one. Star Wars is a boys' brand. No one wants a freaking female protagonist. No one's interested in this. Stop it. Star Wars is about men for men. A friend needs a little something stolen. Of course, of course, a female smuggler. Admiral Akbar has been gender swapped. Let's Great, thank you, thank God. I I'm, don't care. Don't care about this freaking game. I would only play and review this game to trash on it. That's the only reason. Not interested. Not interested. We know this is not going to have a story. And by the way, a freaking droid wearing a freaking coat is stupid. But they, for some reason, Disney Star Wars wants to humanize droids. Droids are not people. Stop it. That's not the point of droids in Star Wars either. Thanks Disney guys, does not understand Star there. Wars. So Who are you, way, Disney? Everything we've shown you so far, I think, is going to be, you know, coming out, uh, you know, this year. Cuff bus, I'm not quite sure, but it's like it's so cool that there's stuff that we're going to get to play in the next. Golly, I cannot here. stand right, well, modern people. Back to smaller teams a few weeks ago. I, I had loathe freaking modern people so much. Look at all these freaking really these queers, these nerds, these scrawny the little freaking losers. Look at all of them, man. Do you want to be these people? No, you don't. I miss what gamers used to be. I miss the dudes that used to be gamers. Like, I don't even care, right, about calling other people slurs, right? But it's like, I miss the type of gamers that would call you a freaking slur. They didn't care about your mother effing freaking emotions. Here we are now. Everyone's these freaking twinks losers. Oh my gosh, she called me a slur. <laughs> freaking A. Okay, wow. A game that's a bunch of, like, AI art, basically. Whatever. Female-led game again. Again, this is just supposed to like live in your emotions and like, oh my gosh, I'm going through all, what do I care? Why? This is not why we ever bought games in the first place. Games were never purchased. Games were never made. This is not what sold gaming. What's this? How is this interesting? How is this interesting? You're trying to give me this weird, senseless, emotional experience. Women live within meaningless emotions. This is the kind of products products that they make. Look at this. Of course, we have to get another trailer. Love of God, these trailers are gonna kill me. Whatever, man. Or sorry, ads, but you know, trailer, ads, whatever. Um. Why do you wanna buy this game? Do you really wanna purchase this game? Tell me why you would wanna purchase this game. All this game is for, it is for senseless, sentimental bullcrap. This is what women make. And of course, that's to be a black female. No one is interested in this. This is why gaming is dead. This is why gaming's dead. Trust me, that game is such a true work of art, especially when you get into some of the combat. It, it is tons of fun. Yeah, wow. Play. Yeah, it looked like a bunch of fun. It looked like today, true art, except for the fact that the devs, it's not enticing. It doesn't allure the mind. Right, next, uh, there's nothing I'm speculating here. There's no philosophy. Announcement. There's no intellect being explored through the product. I'm not interested, bro. I'm not going to buy it. Study the past if you would define the future. Yeah. All are architects of fate. Working in these walls of time. Let us all for death prepare. Or on the last yeah, this looks like Civilization there. 7. I look forward to it. Dude, I love strategy games, so I look forward to it. And without a struggle. Of course, we're, we're, we're having women voice off lines, by the way, like they're war generals, like they're warriors, like they're leaders amongst men. Yeah, yeah, right. Something that will be told amongst men. You as a woman, you're going to have a freaking legacy that people speak of. No, no, men have led throughout history. Men sculpted history. Men speak other men's names because men lived to prove themselves throughout history to other men. Stop pushing this idea that women equally sculpted history or ever sculpted it to begin with. They didn't. Men fought and sacrificed their lives. They did things that women were not willing to do. 
Hello, everyone. It's summer we days. celebrated That's across time, time and history. Of the Firaxis team, we are thrilled. By the way, Sid Meier is still alive. I did not know that. That's crazy. Coming day and date to PC and consoles next year. Bro, bro Sid Meier, he looks. The amazing team that has brought us to this moment. He looks so but afraid. It, it's like there's a diversity hire on the other side of the camera with a gun pointed right at him. Overwhelming <laughs> support of this franchise for over 30 years. We can't wait to share more. And we hope you'll join us later this summer for the full review. This a diversity hire with a gun pointed right at Sid. You better say what you want us to say. Your ESG product, Sid. Don't say the wrong words, bro. Yep, the Sun Wukong game. I'm actually looking forward to this. But why is it? I'm kind of getting sick and tired of all these Asian games because it's like, okay, Asian people, they get to have their games now. They get to have all their cultural iconography, but white guy stuff, where is it? Don't know. But this game does look really cool. It looks really cool. looks really well made. I'm actually looking forward to it. Seriously, it... Yo, girl, what's up? Shoot, girl. Oh, my God. You're looking good. Oh, my. Oh, freak. All right. The graphics are terrific on this, too. The, uh, I would say the pacing, the cinematography here. Really weird that he takes his staff out of his ear like a... Man, but all the... The visuals look great. This might actually be... Why is it called Black Myth? Okay, whatever. It might actually be a cool product. I'm hoping it's really cool, but we'll see. We'll see if they actually deliver a quality product with this one. I'm just so sick and tired of the fact that white dudes can't get anything anymore. Every it, Asian guys, they can get stuff for some reason. But for some, I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Whatever, man. Pissed off. All right, I guess this is a black guy game. Whatever. Oh, it's a ma IGN says it's a masterpiece. Bro, almost every game that comes out is a masterpiece for IGN. Please, IGN, tell me what a masterpiece is. You don't know. Perhaps humans were fated to build the monoliths. Reaching heaven and returning with a gift. They're the only ones that can build monoliths. But man, yep, female. Given more female led. More. Not progress, but chaos. Every new height oh. brings a terrible What's up, girl? Yo, that freaking Anus is looking good. Glimmers, <laughs> even in the depths of the unknown, like me flies. We die to live again. Bro, this chick has an amazing Anus. I can't see your freaking boobs. So what's the fr what's the point of this chick? Why do you have a female protagonist and I can't see your boobs? Frick, ruin my life. I'm getting cocked every day. We stand together. Not interested. No, no. It's just more nihilist. Well, that's interesting. A flying plane. Uh, whatever. Like it's a space whale. Whatever. Um, bro, I'm so sick and tired of nihilistic and nihilistically themed products. I'm sick and tired of this trash. I'm just, I'm not interested. Don't want it. I I'm so disinterested, man. So disinterested. I'm so sick and tired of nihilism. You have no idea how, how like the world is, it, it's gone through catastrophe. The earth is the dead, civilization's dead. This game looks cool. This is Space Marine 2. Apparently it has a, uh, a tranny is writing for this game, so. The Wokies are, they, they've invaded frickin' Warhammer, which is unfortunate. It looks like it might be a masculine story, masculine game, but we'll see, we'll see.
All right, welcome. Everything's back being to made by Game the freaking Fest. queers uh, now. Got some amazing Normal straight show, men are no longer the developers they used they to be. They're no longer so are. A brand new fantasy RPG metaphor slated to launch this October. Please welcome the director and art designer of Persona 3, 4, and 5, Katsura Hashino and Shikanori Sojima. Wow, those names, bro. ありがとうございます。アトラスの橋野です。今日はあ、添島さんと一緒にこのステージに立ててとても光栄に思ってます。Thank you everybody. It is a Bro, pleasure okay. to be here. Bro, okay, a genuine question. Do do Asian dudes hit the gym ever? あの、このゲームはね、I mean, uh, there's, there's, there's something weird about a lot of these like Asian developer dudes. They look skinny fat, you know? It's really weird. This game is an RPG in which the party members transform into their jobs, which we call. Is this like Persona 5? These it looks like Persona 5. Or whatever, Persona esque. Are these the same developers? ファンと向き合うことによって覚醒する力です。すべてのアートワークは力強さとオリジナリティを意識して描いています。その総数は40種類以上にも及び。Archetypes are the embodiment of power born from the will to face your fears and anxieties. We gave it our all to instill each and every archetype with a feeling of strength and uniqueness in each of their designs. In total, there will be more than 40 types of archetypes available in the game. These archetypes can gain experience. Just gonna say it, you're overselling the product here. Versions. Um. あの、メタファーはあの、Like why are you explaining to me these things? Just show it to me. You made the game. Just show it to me. Why are you explaining the product? So we are pouring all of our acquired expertise into this game to make it as exciting as possible. Well, well then show me the exciting. Uh, like you, you have it right here. Just show me the game. Thank you very much and we hope you enjoy it. It is said that we all have inherited heroic virtues deep within us. The reality is we oppress. We fight. A great evil flows through this land. You have found a way to wield true magic. I don't know, man. Many more protectors and they're playing like epic music. I'm I'm not feeling it though. The the chick, so the only female I've seen so far is not that sexy. Okay. You must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. So is this them trying to? Are these the same developers of Persona? I can't tell. They look like it to me. Archetype whose existence was only theoretical. You wield power now. We're at Dave's Hot Chicken. We're no, gonna try I'm not Dave's interested. Not uh, but get on your knees, girl. What's up? It could be cool, but I'm not really interested in the concept, the theme. I don't know what the story is. You know, when I the first time I saw Final Fantasy 15 in that trailer, I was like, "Yo, this looks cool. Yo, the, like all the ideas of what this world's gonna be like, what the characters are gonna do." I'm not. I'm not. And also, same thing happened with Metal Gear Solid 5. But here, I don't know what I'm interested in. For Batman I, I, I didn't see anything interesting about the storyline. All right, so this is our, uh, apparently we get, this is a VR Batman game. 
There's a new darkness overtaking Gotham. Yeah, Kevin Conroy's dead now. So this guy's. This is the new. Light left. I think this is actually a decent. It's from the fire in the streets. I don't know why we're showing a female here. Shadows of rats. By the way. On everything that was once good. Yo, is is that is that a black scarecrow, bro? Fear is their weapon. But they're Love the of only God. ones who can use it. The I... Rat King will stop at nothing to destroy my city. How far will I go to destroy him? See, okay, right, someone's got to fill in the shoes of Kevin Conroy. I think this guy is actually a decent voice for Batman, but I'm going to say it. I think he lacks some of the necessary personality to Batman. There has to be this, this kind of latent personality to Batman. I just don't know yet. I don't know if he has it. Um, I'm not acting like Kevin Conroy was perfect, but he, he did a really great job. Phenomenal job. I am job. looking forward to heading back um, to the Arkhamverse. Now, so we'll see. We'll see if that voice actor legendary fighting game franchise. Did he do Gotham Knights and Batman? I think he did. Me. Because I have been a fan of this series ever but since. But it, it, it's pretty all right. I'm I'm happy. I'm I'm okay with that. Ever since. So, let's check it out. Oh my, I can't stand this chick. Why why did you hire this woman? There's a bunch of women you could have hired. Okay. Bunch of beefy dudes. Got it. I think this is supposed to be something about Street Fighter. I think so. Oh, hold, hold up. Hold up. Oh my. It looks like she has boobs, but I can't see her boobs, so I don't know what the frick. Oh my gosh. These freaking ads. You're killing me, dude. You're literally killing me. And of course, we have to have a diversity chick. Um, but I don't... Listen, listen, you you can trade it off if you would just give her freaking huge boobs. I don't see any boobs on this freaking diversity chick. What the frick? Upset, disappointed. What the frick is going on, bro? Isn't this supposed to be Street Fighter, by the way? I don't... I have no idea. Okay. The dudes look cool, I guess. The chick's freaking hot, but uh, uh, dude, give that Elena freaking chick. I don't care. I don't care. Who cares about whatever the frick her lore is? Okay, just inflate her boob size. Oh God. Of course, uh, but of course they have to put in freaking diversity. They always have to do that. All right, some kind of European game. I guess Scottish or whatever. Bro. They have black Scots in this. Oh my gosh. I, I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I, bro, look at this. Bro, there's a black guy with Red ginger hair. Get, of course, a female blacksmith. I'm so sick and tired of this, bro. I'm so sick and tired of this. Jeez, like, white people just can't have anything. And apparently, being a white person means that you're also a black person. I'm sick and tired of this. Listen, white people, bro, they're not black. Stop it. I, I can't stand this. Oh, my gosh. A roguelike hack and slash. Sounds like an interesting idea. What the frick is that? That dude with long... Is that a... Oh my... Are we just making more trend-blown women? Or is, is that is that is that supposed to be a freaking dude who's actually a woman? Like, come on, bro. 
The freaking wokeness implicit to so many games. All right, this is really low on the volume. Dragon Ball, I don't care for Dragon Ball. I've never liked Dragon Ball. Honestly, Dragon Ball has stupid designs, stupid looking characters. There's no part of me that likes Dragon Ball. Honestly, it feels like, it feels like media that's made for trailer park trash. There's nothing interesting about Dragon Ball. And the women, the women in Dragon Ball are not sexy either. Dragon Ball is gay. It's just freaking gay, bro. I don't like it. I don't like it. But whatever, okay? Like, hopefully this is a good game for the uh, Dragon Ball fans. I absolutely hate Dragon Ball. Never liked it. Not for a single day. Nothing about it's interesting. There you go, Internet. We got your release date for Sparking Zero, October 11th. Now we step into the world of Delta Force Hawk Ops, a free-to-play tactical shooter available to play on all platforms. Here's a look at their multiplayer FPS extraction mode. Team, rally up. We've got a oh look, a female operative. Oh wow. Oh wow, Spec Ops. What, what do you think of when you think of Spec Ops? You think of men. For some reason, we have a female on the team? On a Spec Ops? A female. Fe Bro, I'm so sick and tired of this freaking modernity bullcrap. We keep on putting women into the roles of men. No, no, she is holding down. She is holding back the team. She is holding back the team. Looks like someone when you have a spec ops team, it's going to be men. Oh my gosh, I can't stand this trash. Go, go, go. Clear the area. Go I'm going in. So I guess this is a uh, kind of like a Tom Clancy-esque game, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it'll be interesting. Who knows? You know what, I have to say this. I think we sold products a lot better in the past than we do now. How do you sell a product? Honestly, just simulate what it looks like to actually play the product. Show me a trailer of them going through a level. No, I, I, I don't know how that's supposed to intrigue me because Black Hawk Down is it, it just is a compilation reel. I'm not really interested. Uh, no, uh, it, it doesn't. The award-winning Ridley Scott movie. It's not selling me. Here is your world premiere first look at that gameplay. All right. Honestly, get down, get down. I'm surprised that they would even make a game with your... And I'm surprised they would make a... I'm surprised that they would make a game where you're in Afghanistan. Right? I, I'm surprised that libtards don't think that this is somehow insensitive. Now, of course, what's the angle of this game? Probably not... You know... Exactly. It's it's probably not exactly anti-terrorist or whatever. It's probably very e modern-day egalitarian, blah blah blah. But still, the walls. <laughs> for real this time. But I'm just surprised that they would do it, honestly. The audio sounds weird. 
Okay. All right, whatever. Something about arcades. Uh, is this interesting to you? I don't know. Oh my gosh! Yo, what is up? Brick. Yo, that chick. Bro, I, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'll, I'll buy your freaking game. Not really, but Frick, that is a sexy chick. Alright, Fatal Fury. Seems like uh, whatever Fatal Fury is actually has sexy women. Wow. It's one of the few products right now that actually is. Although she looked like she was. A oh my gosh. But what's this freaking man woman? And, and by the way, stop this. No, of course, of course they have to do this. They're trying to sell this idea that a woman can be Master Chief. Stop it. No. Men are freaking Master Chief. A dude is freaking Master Chief. Women, they do not fulfill that archetype. Stop it with this trash. Even women can see themselves in Master Chief. Stop. Yeah, anyways, that, that sexy chick, though, she looked a little bit heavier. She should have been thinner. I'll be honest. It looked like she, they tried to make her a little bit fat. I don't know what the frick that was about. Like, 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 I don't know, like, low-key skinny fat? I, I, you only see this, this whole thing about skinny fat is such a modern day expression of a body type. I don't know what the frick it is, but people, for some reason, they, they just can't stay in shape. And, and we're like, we're trying to normalize every form and version of people that just can't stay within a normal BMI. Anyways, that chick was hot though. She was still largely thin, but you can tell that they were trying to not make her too thin. I don't like that. Bro, ugh. This is not interesting. I'm not interested by this, bro. Games were so much more interesting than this, honestly. What what has happened to gaming, man? Bro, go back to old showcases for gaming. I mean, go back to 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Games used to be so much more interesting in their trailers. I'm not interested here. I, I, I don't know. What, what are we being shown here? Alright, so something about Gundams. Oh shoot, dude, is this like... Is this like Mech Warrior? But Gundams? Oh, bro. No, that would be cool. That would be cool. I would, I would totally be down for a freaking game. Bro, if, if this is Mech Warrior, but Gundams, that would be freaking cool. Yeah, Mecha Break. It sounds like to me that's Mech Warrior, but Gundams. That would be cool. I don't know anything about Gundams. I never cared about Gundams. But I could see that being really fun and cool. Jason Blum and his Blumhouse banner have become synonymous with incredible horror films over the years like Get Out, Megan, and last year's Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a big way. Bro, I hate the horror genre. I, I don't like it. Dark times await us. Vengeance will take shape. What the frick? I cannot stand modern character designs. 
I cannot sleep. Isn't it funny I that the dude, they always do this. They make the men jacked and they always make the women freaking fat. And this is the thing. I, I cannot stand this with freaking fat women. They, they desire and they yearn after for the beefy, strong dudes, right? Really well built guys, guys who they, they freaking bother with going into the gym and getting jacked, right? But you have these freaking females. They can't bother getting into the gym and, 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 and eating healthily for one day of their freaking life. Should have some developer mode. I would get it if you're a rail thin chick, right? You're in really good shape. And you're attracted to dudes who are beefy. Okay, I get it. But when you're freaking fat, what the frick? Please, uh, please, man. It, listen, it's so easy to stay thin. It's so much harder to get jacked. I don't get these freaking women. I'm gonna get you. Something. I can't stand this trash. I hate, I hate ads. Love of God. Yeah, I'm not interested. I, I don't want to buy your games. It, this isn't interesting. I don't... What are you selling me on, bro? Please Jeez. welcome Jason Blum, CEO and founder of Blumhouse, and Luis Blaine, creative lead at Blumhouse Games. Hey, guys. So we got ourselves a full slate there. That's incredible. So, so Jason, tell us a bit about uh, why did you want to get into bro, games look like at this? the way that this doing? woman's holding well, herself. Been, look at how she's uh, hinging very, very her thumb um, into her jean pocket. That's exactly how a man all. carries your, uh, himself. Out there. What is going on? Uh, I, this is, I cannot stand you'll, you'll modern day women. They don't hold themselves effeminately. Look at, minute, look at the way she's holding herself. She's trying to hold herself wide. This is not how a woman Hold yourself. Anyway, I mean, also, women, is, uh, though, shouldn't be in the gaming industry. Women should not be in the roles popular. of men. Our movies are working. It's working on streaming. Women it's being in the freaking workforce is masculine as it is. This is a raging feminist. I cannot stand this freaking trash, and dude. That's what you see here. We're going to do independent games. We're going to look for creators and give them a platform and, and encourage these creators to be weird and subversive. Bro, modern day women are so freaking masculine. I cannot can stand this trash. Really cool this is so annoying. Games. <laughs> well, they, they look they look great. It's a really diverse, cool slate. Uh, Luis, tell us a bit about we saw a bunch Why of games. Why was he laughing about that, about by the way? You're just announcing well, we're making so games, bro. Slate. Okay. Why are you Blum laughing about that? A lot like Blumhouse movies. They come in many different flavors. Creative lead. Which means there's a Having a woman as a creative lead. Everyone. We've so had plenty of women be the creative leads of many studios recently. And we've seen that's how much of a freaking disaster that's been. Very cozy farming sim. <laughs> I think, you know, we as horror fans, we know that there are so many different... You want to know who's made the best horror games? Men. Partners, Men have made the best horror games. Which means we've got psychological nightmares. What you just showed to me looked like creative horror. female and design. And it really sucks. I don't want to buy your game. It's not interesting. Talented partners. And that means you know, I never... What was that one game that it, I think was called me, Evil Dead? And they came out with a sequel. Really to, it, it looked genuinely freaky, but I never cared for it. I was not interested. I didn't want to play it. We can take it, it, it wasn't... No, we Evil Within. That's what it was called. Evil really Within. But it looked creative. It looked interesting. I just... Yeah, I was it, like, it no, looks, no. I, I, all the stuff you have there, and I know... You know, for one, I was getting a little bit oversaturated at the time with the so the horror genre. Because well, yeah, uh, I, PC and console, but also and, I'm just um, way too freaked out by freaking uh, horror. Yeah, I, I don't like how nihilistic with, uh, it is. One, but it looked genuinely so, uh, creative. So you, you it looked yeah, good. So I was actually intrigued by the conceptual design. But again, I just I didn't right. I I just I don't like horror that much. It's also super creepy, and I think people will be big fans of it, even if you're not normally in to horror and quickly actually fear the spotlight is getting its first trailer as part of the yeah. day of the dev showcase so they're over talking the product bro yeah. awesome. you're you're well, in the field of gaming the start, show so the game the you don't have to speak from, uh, for the product you, you show the, the product right. you have a visual product why are you talking up your product to me and by the way by the way this is what you do 
you and show now, the product, the of a you show an interesting product. When I was shown tail. Destiny, the first time I was shown Destiny, the first game, I was like, I started wanting to see the freaking interviews because I was like, this game looks cool. Show me, uh, talk, talk to me about what your game is. I was so hyped. Yep, brave and beautiful, diverse Power Rangers. Got it. Just whatever, man. But um, you need to show your product and then put in a separate. What the frick? What was that bra? Love of God. Okay. Anyways, um, show your product, then in a separate presentation, do interviews, and I will seek that out if I'm interested in your product. But don't talk up your game outside of. Just simply show your game. If your game is interesting enough, I will want to hear and listen about your game. Bro, I regret being here. I regret being here. What, what is going on here? I'm not interested. Aren't these really interesting games to be showing for a person? Bro, E3 used to be way cooler than this. I, what, what is this? These are lame games. These are like sentimental games. Oh, you know, let's live in your emotions or let's show you products that you don't even really care about. Okay, whatever. Oh, oh, poor dear. It's freaking, I guess, mother's dead. Whatever, man. Good luck. Good luck, dear. Good luck. I hope the lion doesn't eat you. Why are you gonna pick up this game? What, so that I can have a freaking emotional experience with a freaking baby deer? I don't care, bro. This is what female-driven games look like. It's about having these sentimental, useless experiences rather than actually having a gameplay experience. Give me these exact same freaking themes and I will give you a good story. This is not good. This sucks. All right. All right. Yeah, whatever. Females, get on your freaking knees. I get it. All right. I'm not interested. Goodbye. Why would you play this game? Why would you play this game? Why? There's no reason, bro. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, bro. A what? What? It grew up and now it's a guardian? Wow, that's... No. No. That, that's not interest. Don't care. I, I, I cannot stand this freaking sentimental game, friendship bull boy, crap. From first -time developer Give me a cool Bay game on war. Remember Rise, Son of Rome? Pandemic, Jeez, that uh, game was gory. And it was freaking, you know, it was pretty dark. But, oh God, we, we don't get gritty games anymore. Masculine storylines. And by the way, Rise, Son of Rome wasn't that good of a story. But at least it was a freaking gritty, masculine game. We don't get games like this anymore oh god games are so freaking female driven and gay can't stand this the best laid plans of men don't always come to fruition man proposes but god disposes and then boots you right in the balls <laughs> These two young fellas, I need to find them. One's a smart ass smith. Oh, this is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. I never cared for the first game, I was never interested in it. Like a spoiled brat. How dare you speak? Okay, that hurts by the way. But I like I like the humor here. I like the humor here. Father. There are many sinners in this world. Alright. In the end, Actually, the women are not attractive. They don't have big boobs. Okay, that chick has nice boobs. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I'm never gonna run from that fucker again. Kiss our asses! Is that a reference? Is this retribution for my sins? 
I actually like the writing in this. I actually, the jokes are good. The, the men actually talk like men, right? They're making uh, kind of like insensitive jokes. That guy's like, kiss my butt. I like that. Come on. It, it's actually just white men. This is in England. It's just white dudes. I like that. The fucking task. Okay, I like that. Wow. And it, it's not even that crazy. It's just it, that's a that's a it, that's a game that's actually made for men. The way the men talk, Next, the way they joke the around. I mean, the women could be way more attractive, but uh, back in I'm hoping there's uh, man, whatever. At the Game Awards, and now we're giving you a look at. I'm the grasping for freaking for freaking scraps season. here, man, but. It's it's decent. Trending, and oh my God! Help me! Help me! Don't care. Stop. Experience full body support. But I, I like it. it. There's actually a masculine frame of mind. So Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm actually interested in this, the sequel. I didn't care about the previous game, but I'm interested. This is weird, like, Witcher 3 music, you know? Oh, jeez, man. Oh, I love a god. This is kind of weird. Bro, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I was talking about this during the uh, State of Play video. I, I can't stand how nihilistic a lot of modern products are. And, and like, I'm seeing a lot of Asian products. They're incredibly nihilistic. They're very, um, you know, like atheistic. There, there's no essence of beauty, of God, of heavenliness. And a lot of these products, I, I'm, I'm seeing just a lot of nihilism out of Asian products, especially, well, that's kind of always been the case, let's be honest. I, I don't like Steam, uh, no, sorry, um, I don't, what, what is this? It's not cyberpunk, it's not steampunk, what is this? This is kind of urban punk, and I hate urban punk. I don't like urban punk. I, I don't like it at all because it always has this atheistic, nihilistic element to itself. This like grotesque spirit nature to the characters in the world. No, I don't like it. Not interested, man. Yeah, not not interested. I no. I hope it's a good game, but. Okay. That's what I call a dramatic entrance. There's a reason why I'm called Killer B. Wow, this looks like a really it's trashy game, bro. Wow, really? this looks super. It's not just low budget. Really? This. Good. This looks like a trashy game. I used to be an assassin for the Shadow Agency. It's like Max Payne though, kind of. Powerful enough to shape the world. Until they lied to me and tried to kill me. Now, I'm gonna destroy them. <laughs> You're the gosh darn idiot who wants to take down the Shadow Agency! <laughs> wow, this is like a game that you would have seen back well, in... Sure nice to meet you. Before you die... I mean, listen, I hope it's a good game, I guess? No, no whatever, bro. No, this looks like crap. I, I don't... What is this, bro? Hey, it just looks like an indie game, right? But I, I just... I'm not interested in it. This is I mean, a hopefully... Oh, oh my god. It can do oh my gosh. Like your I'm dying. I'm dying. Um, Yeah, I'm just not interested. I mean, this, this is like... um. It's like it's like a a crappy Roblox game, you know? 
Uh, okay, higher budget Roblox game. It, it's it's a Roblox game with a budget. That's what it is. <laughs> whatever, man. I I mean, whatever. It, Glad you like that one. That was. It's not made for me. That's clear. It's clear. It's not made for me. Made by another single developer. Believe it or not, right here in Los Angeles. One Jeff guy made Lou, it. Okay. He worked as an animator on movies like The Matrix Reloaded. Um, it's impressive. So fun. It's amazing. Impressive what making that kind right, of a game on your own. Their brand new game. Please welcome from the Game Bakers, a small independent studio in Montpellier, France. It's Andre tough to make a game on your own. Hello, Jeff. Everyone. I'm very happy to be here. When Another feminist. Studio, I seem like a freaking man. Man, oh my God, freaking modern so women, bro. So after oh. Fury and Haven, we're here to introduce ah, a, a female CEO. Yeah. Gee, I wonder how that happened. When I was a teenager, you know, let's look past the fact that we've canceled men out of these industries at alarming rates. This has happened in universities. This has happened in companies. A bunch of fake allegations, DEI hires, forcing women to enter CEO roles, whatever, man. This is why the gaming industry is dying. This is why the gaming industry is dying. And the climbing gameplay is a challenge. You're telling it's me this guy, it's a guy reality. who's a creative director, but you, you're telling me you this guy can actually make his own games? And I mean, an answer to a freaking woman? No, he can't. Teams. When games were made it's by exclusively men, for one, gameplay. they were better. For one, they were masculine. You games were actually good devs, when they were made by exclusively men. We had sexy women in games. We had masculine writing for games. Games were fun and interesting. Here, here, here's the freaking game that they made. Female led, of course. A, a woman, a woman climbing a freaking. Okay, 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 bro. No, 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 no. You want to know who climb, who risks their lives climbing across the face of a mountain? You know who does that? Men do. Men do this. Again, a woman in a man's role, and of course, it's a diverse woman. It's a freaking colored female, of course. That's something a man does, by the way. That's something a man does. Whenever a man, right? The, the com competitive fury. Look at this. Come on. Only a guy does this crap. Push-ups before going to sleep. You know, you're trying to push yourself to the limits. And then when you don't meet those limits, you punch into the ground or you punch into the face of a rock. Like, gosh dang it. I'm not, I'm not the best I could be. Freaking screaming, right? No! That's what a freaking man does. I hate this freaking feminist dog. I'm sickened. Screw me again. Love of God. You're not a freaking Spartan. You're a freaking female. I can't stand this. This is why I hate gaming. This is why I've checked out of gaming. Because gaming is now gay. Frick, man. Come on. I'm not meant to be here. I'm a fighter. I'm meant to be in the arena. Oh, I'll stop it. it. But instead, I'm out here in the middle of the woods. Another, st another story following shop. a freaking colored female. So, what does running a tea shop involve? I'm a woman, and I'm actually supposed to be a warrior. No, you're a woman. And you're a woman. Women are not warriors. Women are not supposed here. to be fighters. None of these Stop it with this freaking propaganda. Stop making this stuff up. I, I swear really to God, patient. these women who want equal well, rights, surviving. they need to be in an equal rights, equal lefts society. Okay, okay, okay. You want to be a freaking warrior? Have at it. Freaking fight men. You you say that you're as tough as a man. And this is the thing I asked, man. I'm so sick and tired of this feminism. But seriously, what is a man? Answer me, what is a man? What is a freaking man? Because apparently, a woman is now a man. It's peaceful. And what's weird... Look at this freaking gay crap, by the way. This is so female-made. And this kind of freaking biatch is going to tell you, I'm, I'm a man, I'm a warrior, I'm supposed to be in the arena. Shut up. I can stop running. This is good for me. I need to enjoy this. I feel good. I'm happy. 
Yeah, living in her freaking emotions. I hate this trash. Having to coach herself out of her freaking negative emotion. This is how women think. They're so freaking reactive. They're, they're always possessed by these freaking concepts and ideas. This negative emotion outside of themselves. This is not how men think, and I hate this crap, and they're trying to equate men with women. Oh, I, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm a warrior, I'm a warrior. <laughs> no, you can't. Stop it. Stop it. Freaking sick and tired of this trap. You're not a man. Stop, stop selling this freaking egalitarian propaganda that you think like a man. The fact that you cannot control your emotions and your own thoughts shows that you're not a man. Stop it. Garfield I'm so fed up with this world. man. Now that's amazing. I can't so tiring. So tiring, man. So tiring. Turn your thoughts inward. Again, again, we just need to live in a freaking equal rights, equal lefts society. Okay, okay, you think you're tough like a man. Do it. Do it. Do it. Freaking fight a man. Fight a man. Fight a man. You'll realize. You'll they realize real quick, scene. gee, maybe I should be more traditional, a traditional female for once in my life. And again, we have to have a colored female story, not interested, don't care. Another female protagonist story, whatever, man. Has lived for eons at the mercy of the nine. Yeah. It's time we uh, uh. Took control of our own destiny. Of course, the villain has to be a white man. Okay, okay. Give me back Eurocentric stories. Give me back white man stories. I'm sick and tired of this. Remember stepping. I don't care that these games exist. What I care about is that they invade our properties. They invade white man properties. They take away from you your white man properties. And then, not only do they infest it with their freaking melanin characters, but then they get their own melanin stories. You can have your freaking crap. I don't care. But keep white dudes deserve their own stories. Stop infesting. Star Wars should still to this day be about white men. I'm sick and tired of this, bro. I'm so tired of it. I finally have something. Something that I want to protect. Now steal your heart. Adventure starts. Oh my gosh, bro. I, I regret being here. This is so freaking female-centric. Games are no longer made for men. I bought Monster Hunter Rise. The um, I bought the uh, DLC for that recently. I need to play it. I don't know when I can get around to it. Isn't that a plague uh, bearer? That's a plague bearer mask, right? This is, a uh, Italian, right? Ah, delusion taken for walks into my great hall. Okay. Man, trailers were cooler than this, bro. Ay ay ay. Oh my gosh, my life, my existence. Spend quality time stop. With friends on stop. With Make a stop. $25 a month. You can catch up with a friend. Well, actually, black men with black women, you don't see that much anymore these days. This is the coolest trailer that we've seen, and it's not even that cool. Man, go back to older showcases. This just... This, is, this isn't it, bro. My gosh. One certainty in the cosmos. 
I like the iconography of this. I don't like how androgynous the character looks. Like, they want you to think it could be a man or a woman. By the way, a woman has boobs. By the way, a woman has a waist. A waistline. Freaking hips. Okay? A woman is curvaceous. A woman has long hair. A woman is built differently than a man. And a man is built differently than a woman. Grappling hook mechanic. It is finally set for release and we're very happy here oh my god the, man the new trailer it looks cool it looks like it has cool iconography has cool themes this game looks like it has some sexy females let's see let's see if it does holy we don't know how to sell games anymore bro uh, listen, trailers were so much better than this. At least that chick looks like she's built like a female, though. Okay. Uh, I, I, I. Nah. The women are not sexy enough. Okay, th that. This is better looking than other stuff. That chick looks like she's from Stellar Blade, honestly, but she's pretty hot. I, I don't like the over the the jacket though that she has on. I don't like because it's covering up her her boobs. I don't like that. I can just fully sexualize that chick, man. It's kind of interesting looking. Uh, somewhat masculine men. The women look effeminate, but I, I don't like women in combat roles. I don't- the love of God, I cannot stand this trash. But I mean, the women- okay, I really like the form-fitting outfits, though, to the women. The guys are beefy. Okay, cool. I mean, it just looks tr like traditional men and women. I like that. There's cool elements to this. It doesn't look brave and beautiful and diverse. It, I, I don't know what it's supposed to be though. Like, what's the racial origin of these people? I have no idea. Show me your boobs. Show me your boobs. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Freaking. Okay. Love of God, I'm being cocked every day of my life. That looks awesome. The first does it? it will be available does it? across PlayStation, Xbox, and I don't even Steam. know what the frick it is. At least the men look like men, July though, and second. at least the women look like and women. Now, please but welcome they barely sexualize the women. Game among us took the world by so storm I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping it's a good game. I'm From hoping that Sloth, here are Victoria and does it have a story? I don't know, man. Ugh. Ugh. This chick. What's up, gamers? Yeah! Blah. Blah. Can you believe they just let us be on this stage? Like, no chaperones. Like, I know. Can we announce something totally fake? This guy is so gay, you, bro. Like, let us do this guy that? is so Among gay. Us two? Among us three. Oh four. my god. Dude, take oh, Trend Balone. Well, get freaking, get freaking stacked, really okay? Your freaking biceps. Get on uh, roids. Get so huge. Get freaking beefy. Years, I don't care what it does to you. I don't care how many years it takes off your freaking lifespan. Whatever you are now in this really stupid polo shirt, so you need to be a freaking warrior amongst men. What the frick is this? Love of God, you look like you've been cucked out of your freaking mind. Oh. Are less popular among e days. This is our way of saying thank Bro, you. Bro, you look so cucked out. You look so players, cucked out your freaking head. You need to do something. Do something, man. Freedom. Do we something to, to your freaking biceps. And then we all get to freaking do something. Which was the I mean, you plan. could still, you could still. I mean, I, you, you I could still fight game. women. I mean, it's not like you're that weak. <laughs> But, Outer Sloth is our love of God, project. love of God, you don't look like you go to the gym. Go to the freaking gym, bro. Really what are you doing to yourself? And incredibly, incredibly nervous Become a warrior <laughs> amongst men. What are you doing? What are you doing? Managed to fund because of you. You, you have a successful Jeff, game, apparently, among us. You have players. a successful game, Enjoy. but where is the roids? Get on freaking roids. Take a bunch of freaking protein scoops. Do it! You have money, now afford yourself muscles. Do it. 
Jeez Louise, you can get ripped without money. You have money. How? What excuse do you have for not being ripped? What excuse do you have for dressing in a polo shirt? A gay polo shirt? Whatever the frick you're wearing. A seasoned one. And he's leaving a calling. Golly! We're Trinket Studios. What's happened? What's happened to modern men? Battle or RPG? Battle suit aces. Gay games. The, the, the men in these games look gay. We're making the Marsfield Archives a game about building and exploring connections. What the frick? What? What? What is this? I'm not interested. I'm not interested. This is why gaming is dying. The, these are bro. Games are just supposed to be show. Not sorry, not showcases. I mean. This is Rogue Eclipse. Our epic space. Like action I mean, th this is what gaming is supposed to be Star now? Bro, gaming- Oh, gosh. Ew. 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 Oh, my gosh. Echo, what the frick is this guy? Games, makers of thirsty suitors, oh, I hated this. I, I don't even know what this game exactly was. I don't care. I just hate everything about its design philosophy. It's super woke. Discover new dose of Whatever, dude. Make your freaking crap. Strange loved ones for one last meal. But by the way, it's a super a gay game. That's the only thing I know about it. And food for the Bro, soul. you look miserable. Stop being woke. It promotes mental illness. Figure out your life, bro. Figure it out. Stop being Thanks, woke. Victoria By the way, Forrest. this woman, those I will tell you this. And I cannot wait to what play the them. frick is wrong but with you? Why are you overweight? If she were thin, I almost swear you to you, this would be a hot chick. It looks like she would have a nice Sounds boob like size. Yes. Looks like <laughs> she, if she, again, if she had a healthy BMI, this could actually be an attractive female. Why the frick did you ever allow yourself to freaking eat a bunch of food and get fat? What is wrong with you? What did you do to yourself? Oh my gosh, I hate being here. I hate being here. Bro, th this is what we have to showcase for gaming? I, I miss the days of when men led gaming. I miss those days. I miss those days, man. When men made games. Games were cool. Games were great. Games were sexy. The women were freaking sexy. I actually wanted to buy games. I don't want to buy games anymore, man. Oh, Deborah Wilson. No, no, uh, uh, no, no. Up next, we have Sonic X Shadow. The face of ESG, by the way, Deborah Wilson. <laughs> a definitive greatest. Imagine hit this chick as a thin woman. I could Shadow's actually see her being attractive. Now it's time for a glimpse of Shadow's brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well as the official release date announcement. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you do that to your body? Her complexion doesn't seem that bad either. I don't know. Whatever, man. Whatever. I don't care for Sonic. Oh my gosh. I regret being here already. Should I just speed up the, uh, let's speed this up. The Year of Shadow, right? A movie coming in December too. Exciting stuff. All right. In the upcoming well, he did not sound game, excited. Funcom, there is one small decision that unleashed a chain of events which set the stage for the story the player will experience. Let's find out for the first time what that is. The only piece I find is a future that never happened. One where I, Paul Atreides, was never born. I created the future until it created me. But 
I see a narrow way. A path that might have been. What if my mother had obeyed her orders and given birth to a girl? Everything would change. Yeah, if only the man Dr. was a female the protagonist. A world if where only. my father lives. House Atreides surviving the Battle of Arakeen. Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange. Reclining is trending, and at living uh, spaces, our collections are more my stylish, life. comfortable, and functional Ends than my life with these. Experience full body is there a way to avoid War ads? <laughs> spreading across the planet. Fremen. Exterminated. No, Muad'Dib. No, Lizan al Gaib. No, Kwisatz Haderach. All of my visions lead to horror. Why? Except for this one. I cannot stand egalitarian writing. I cannot stand it. I could see this being a cool game if if it was open world survival MMO. Okay. I could see a game being uh, just forget it, bro. If games were written from a masculine frame of mind, they would actually be cool. They're not. They're not though. They're not. I don't I don't know what this is. I'm not really interested. It's uh it's not I, I don't It looks like gay anime. That's what it looks like to me. What is this? What is this? Where is a chick? Where's a female with huge freaking boobs? Where is she? Where is she? Tell us show more me. About battle aces and show you, you the can't. gameplay. Here's you can't. Because the, there, there are none. Thanks, there are none. So Battle Aces is the RTS game for everyone. It's for players that are brand new to RTS as well as RTS fans. An RTS game? Really want to bring the core fun of RTS to everybody. Kind of like how games I've such been as looking for or Hearthstone games more for RTS games. So games. Battle Aces I don't know if it's a good RTS. Army game if it's good, I would be interested in playing it, but RTS fun to players in two major ways. First, we want Does to it look good? Bro, man, I miss Halo Wars 2. I wish cool that got continued development or a freaking sequel. But you know how long it took us to get Halo Wars 2? Man. Man. I love Halo Wars, though. This game doesn't look like Halo Wars to me. Then please uh, make sure to visit our website at playbattleaces.com. Thank you. Thank you. Devin. I want some good right. RTSs, though. The I really do. For a game that Shadow dropped at the Game Awards last year, the finals, with its unparalleled destruction wrapped in the world's most deadly game show. Now, after dozens of updates and two seasons, we're unveiling where contestants will be going in the all-new season starting next week on June 13th. Sharpen your katanas and welcome to season three. Honestly, I think all the good games that we'll be releasing for the upcoming years are games that are not being showcased any longer. I I mean it. So it has to be a game you never heard of. You don't even know it's in development. This is the only time you're gonna get a good product. I hate modern people designs. What is this? Finals? Okay. Is finals a good game? I have no idea. The day you uh, get your choice uh, 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 ads, bro. The finals in Kyoto. All right. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a dazzling Game Awards performer, if I do say so myself, Sam Lake from Remedy. Stop it. Stop it. Stop dancing onto stage. 
No, stop it. Stop it. No, stop it. Stop it. I think that's enough. Stop Thank it. You. you made a Fine. woke game. See, Alan Wake 2. It sucked. It was terrible. Boring story. So terrible story. You race swapped a freaking female character. What's wrong with you? You have problems. You suck. You destroyed a freaking franchise that people liked the first game. And you just made, you cucked out the main character. You suck. to announce physical deluxe editions. No. No, no and one's buying it. You suck. Editions for Alan Wake 2, you made a woke game. You can lock in your copy starting tomorrow. Easily, Saga Anderson Next, is a freaking black chick and a freaking European in uh, what, what is it? I'm Location, locale, region, zone, proximity, vicinity. How it many other words can I find? With three familiar fan favorite playable characters. Stop it. Stop it. You should have made the main character a sexy we'll blonde white woman. Scenario. You didn't do it. It was a chance for us to really go. You suck out and that freaking chick, she should have sucked did. off Ellen Wake. We nice should have had a masculine character, masculine story, a sexy, a feminine hours. freaking female character Tomorrow. who was of the proper racial now, background for the characters and the stories that you I were creating. You and instead, what did you do? You went freaking woke Night with Springs. it. You suck. Night Springs, a special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, always familiar to us. In Whatever, man. Night Springs. Whatever. Not interested. Not interested. I'm in danger. Oh, Please oh, fe female led again. Uh, a woman, a woman who's got it all figured out. A woman with a plan. Don't care. That's a guy from Quantum Break. That's a chick from. I hate the freaking control. That game. Screw that game. Something is different. Not interested. I have a shotgun. Well, I got. Wait, is that? That's a real shotgun. Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit hole goes in? Oh my gosh, bro. This stuff sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Listen, I don't care that there's woke stuff. I mean, now I do. At this point, just screw anything that's woke. But like... I hate the fact that they pushed out men out of this freaking industry. They pushed out non-woke men out of gaming industry. The gaming industry has been ruined by the freaking left, by the freaking woke. And at this point, screw them. I, they should not have any games. They went out of their way to push everybody out. Screw yourselves. Now all we get are these crappy woke products. Can't stand right, it. New World Eternum will launch on PS5, Xbox Series X and S and PC on October 15th. And now you can play the game start to finish as a solo player or play co-op and use crossplay as well. If you're watching SGF on TikTok Live right now, you can comment HSR in the chat to claim a special in-game bundle for Honkai Star Rail of Stellar Jade from TikTok Game Rewards. And speaking of Honkai Star Rail, Hoyoverse's latest space fantasy RPG just concluded its version 2.3 special program a few hours ago. I don't know anything about Honkai Star Rail. Featuring a beloved character who is clearly ready for the forthcoming journey. But all I know is that it has anime chicks with amazing freaking breasts and that's all i know that's all i care about just sexy females with nice freaking breasts everything is possible in this land of dreams yeah look at this chick nice freaking cleavage what's up girl this chick nice freaking boobs look at that one. Oh my goodness these are these are freaking sexy chicks I'm down. I'm down for this game. I see sexy females. I'm down. I'm down bad. What's up? Why do people choose to I don't know what the story is, but I'm totally playing it for the air quotes, the plot. I'm doing it. Oh my gosh, there's jiggle physics. I'm down. I'm down bad. Let's do Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Modern people. I, I don't want to look at modern people. Can't stand modern people. Uh, 
Um, people say that Darker and Darker was a good game, right? And that it was fun. Maybe it was fun. I have no idea. I never really played it, so... What is this? What is this for? Don't know. Play it for free on Steam. There Wait, you have it, the unforgiving fantasy FPS it's a free game? PvPVE okay. Adventure Dark and Darker is now live on both Steam and Epic Game Store today. So play it this weekend. All right. Lots of fans are joining us here in person at the YouTube Theater, and we thank you for that. And ahead of the show, four lucky fans were upgraded to our VIP section thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket Upgrade. With Discover, you don't have to be a VIP to be treated like one. All right, now here's the announcement of the release date for Capcom's upcoming Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. <laughs> Is this like an RTS or something? Kind of looks like it might be. It's not really clear what the combat is. Okay. A bunch of these games are coming out soon. Man, I'm just, no. I, I don't know what this, I don't care. I'm not interested. Man, bro, so many modern modern games are a huge waste of time. I, I, seriously. And I, I don't like the designs of modern games. Modern games have terrible designs to the characters. I'm not interested. I don't I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Party animals. Something about that. Some people enjoy it. My gosh, our culture nowadays is so gay. We used to get films like Gladiator. We used to get films like Troy. We used to get games like the freaking right, The Witcher 3, freaking Metal Gear Solid 5. You know, you can go back further than that. We used to get a lot of masculine stories, masculine characters. So we wanted to take this time to dispel any of these completely I, I I've seen and reassure you that I, I don't care about this the, this is a skit right here things are going great for you. I've actually seen this I I don't care I I'm looking away I don't care I don't care I'm looking at other things I can't stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for no that makes me not paying attention bro sick to their stomachs my wife hasn't been on the toilet for weeks because of what you're saying about what M Corp's doing to this town, all those lies. Mm. Everyone in M Corp is really good. Stop crying, all right? This is business. Look around, pal. This is how businesses are run. Now, you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Jack, tissues, come on, pal. Ah! Come on, faster. That's not about this. That's a. That's a this is how you're done. selling your game, bro. This, this is how you're selling your game. Love it here at this, this, is, this is what gaming has turned really into. This is what gaming is for now. This. Oh, love of God. When science fails to know its It's basically the office. I hate the right, office. Uh, well, Screw the office. Fans, and now let's head to Sam Vansterdam for a new look at Skate from EA. It's lame and gay. Hey Jeff, how you doing, bud? Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're gonna need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's bad. And I guess they were trying to sell skates. I mean, why would you? Why instead of doing a gameplay trailer, you do a crappy skit? Uh, whatever, man. I mean, why is the gaming industry anything that it is today? I don't, I don't know. Whatever, man. 
I'm disappointed. <laughs> Very exciting that people will finally be able to play Skate on console in the near future. Our next world premiere is an indie sensation from Japan that is adorable, deadly, and has over 25 million players worldwide. That's right, I'm talking about Pal World. I mean, just look at the giant depresso. Cheer up, buddy. It's Summer Game Fest. Now, here is the first major update announcement. A whole new island is coming. Can we be offensive again? Can we please be offensive again? I am so tired. The, the, the trashy humor. Uh, 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 just, just, just say a slur. Call somebody a slur. I'm so sick and tired of this. All right, so they're coming out with an update for Power World. I hope the game gets better. I hope it gets more interesting, more fun. Um, the game was absolutely boring when I played it. Okay. And it took forever to get to the guns. I never got to the guns, but whatever. I, I, I hope as they continue to create the game that it gets good, okay? I do. I hope I hope it gets good, okay? I don't know if it's gonna really ever get that good. Does she have boobs? I don't see the boobs. No, no. She's, she's way too covered up. Show me more. Show, show, show me way more than that. That was high on the Steam charts. Uh, congrats to uh, Power World on the new update. Next up, we've got a big announcement from Valorant. Here's Andy Ho and Anar Gilfeson from the Valorant dev team. Guys. <laughs> Bro, it's not hey, enough everyone. to be Since on 1.5 speed. To serve players in their pursuit I don't think I should speed it up home. anymore, but the all right. I'm just going to tune this out. While all eyes are on you. Millions of players all over the world have earned their own Valorant moments on PC. And today... The stage is set to welcome a whole new group of players. Let's take a look. What, the queers? Are we bringing in the queers? Please. Please, we need more queers for your game. Whatever, man. Why does everything have to be modern day? Why does everything have to be freaking woke? Can we just make a woke game awards show or can we make a woke presentation, right? Summerfest? Can we, can we separate woke from normal stuff? Can, can we stop invading the gaming industry with all this trash? I, I, whatever, man. This trash can exist. I just want to have legitimate products to look at. That's all I want. That's all I want, man. And I, I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. That's it. That was Valorant's core tactical gameplay. Everything you just saw was captured on console and with a controller. Valorant is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S this year. Our limited beta starts June 14th, and you can sign up right now at beta. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 so looks here. like sure it might be a good console. game. And, we hope to see you and it might have a good beta. story. Of course, know, you know, studio, Anna Donlin. with a good story nowadays, guys. Hey, everyone. is a One drop of bar. Man, I, I can't stand looking at modern well people. Well I, I really can't. Modern people, they get under my skin, bro. Please, please. One of our largest global tournaments and community celebrations. Seeing the community evolve as new players bring their passion and expression to Valorant has been the biggest joy of the right. Is there a bunch of background yeah, chatter? So so excited to welcome a whole new group of players onto new platforms. We hope yeah, you'll there join is. Us and we can't wait to see where you take us next. Okay. Oh, Valorant is going on console. Cheeto's hair. Yeah. Oh, whatever, man. Oh my gosh. I hate hipster character designs. I hate hipster anything modern day. Can't stand this trash. Is that Pokemane? Screw that chick. Ew. 
it is so pathetic that any dude freaking sims for Pokemon. I, like, I don't even care. Our next Otter. Is a big deal for it is just so Dash pathetic. Dash it's with summer of Dash Pass. Sign up for Dash Pass whatever. I, I, just forget it. I, I, I just, I can't stand. I can't stand modern people. Freaking pisses me off. Isn't this guy a huge raging Democrat? Where he plays a fictional video game character, Lance Slashblade. And we've got here. Love of God. I can't stand this. I can't stand this. I can't stand this. To your eternal fate. Alright. I hate this. Stop. Why does this man have pink hair? I hate this. Gaming is so freaking gay now. Don't you remember his power move? I'm coming for you, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Come on. No one is totally worthless. But I am a warrior cursed with a feeble attack. And you must make your curse your gift. Shield yourself, my friends, for I shall set you all free! Look at this, right? He's the ideal man. Oh, love of God, help me. Don't you love it? He's the ideal man. He's he's beefy, he's well-built, he's a thin, muscular guy. Then he's talking to this chick that's simping over him, and she doesn't even have any boob size. She, she's frumpy. They can't even make a fictional, attractive female. Whatever, Matt. What the frick is it? Oh my gosh, I hate being here. Oh, I'm so glad I put this on two times speed. Get me out. Get me out. This is what's happened to games. Oh my gosh, I'm looking away. I'm look. I can't. I can't look at this anymore. I'm. I'm looking at. Okay. I'm looking at my phone. I'm done. I'm done. I'm. I'm, I'm checked out. Stop. Don't care. Not interested. Which is why you'll have the job. What's wrong with that from? I hope not. Guys, maybe everything is in a squad activity. Yeah, 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 just relax your bowels, your mind. I love you. I'll be in a different story. This time I'm mistaken. Four headed, you're a hardware breaker. I've been wrong. I've been down. These clowns. You call this a squad? Pathetic. Impossible. Jinx, 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 Jinx. No, you Jinx. You're supposed to be a lumberjack? You wouldn't happen to want to go chop some trees, would you? I'd be delighted. I think our job here is done. Where are you going? You can't leave. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I never leave here. Goodbye. Here. Is that Chris Hemsworth? Oh, you want me to shut the door? Or... What? Wow. Oh right, my gosh. Oh Monster my gosh. Oh my gosh. I would rather go to a strip club than be here. I would rather go where a bunch of chicks, ratchet freaking hoes with freaking face tats. I'd rather go freaking there than be here right now. What the frick is this? え、Lastly, there will be a new trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds at opening night live at Gamescom in August. And our first public hands-on playable demo of Monster Hunter Wilds will also debut at Gamescom. Thank I you. look forward to this game. I look forward to Mon- Oh my gosh. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's, let's actually go normal speed for this. I cannot stand how this is freaking brave, beautiful, and diverse though. I can't stand that this just can't be freaking white people doing white people stuff. Or you know, it's actually- Or just Asian people. I- for some reason, they have to. What this this now needs to be like Middle Eastern? I, jeez, I mean, we're just making everything freaking melanated. It's so annoying, man. But the game looks interesting, looks cool. I look forward to this. I love Monster Hunter. Um, I've played Monster Hunter World and Rise, and I enjoy both. Okay, so I look forward to this. And it looks like they're doing things to make this game really cool. So I look forward to it. As I feared, it picked up our scent. I'll handle it. 
Uh, a, wo a woman's gonna handle it. I can't stand this freaking female warrior bullcrap. Who is this elusive female audience? We know that the people who buy this game are men. What are you doing? What? You're trying to sell this... L listen, okay, you want it to be about representation? I'm not represented. Why, as a dude, am I going to buy this now? Why? Why? You want women to buy it. it clearly, you want this game. It's made for a bunch of freaking women. So, why the frick am I purchasing this game, huh? 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 I'm not being represented. I'm not being represented. Why am I going to buy it? You're just taking me for granted now. Is that what this is? I don't exist as your customer? Uh, just screw yourselves, man. Thank you, Riosa son. We will see you at Gamescom in August. Now, during last Who is this elusive female game, audience Phantom that you're trying to pander to, man? Wowed us all with its blazing fast combat and stylish art. Well, I'm honored to share with you the brand new trailer for the game featuring all real gameplay. Here's our Just final make game games for men, Blade bro. Zero. Just make games for men. Love a god. If your audience is men, make your game for men. Looks interesting. Cool looking combat. It looks good. So, as you're attacking, it looks like you get execution windows. The executions are cool. Okay. Uh, interesting enemy designs it looks very nihilistic again it's Japanese or Asian whatever so of course it looks very nihilistic but at least it's cool I mean it, it, it just yeah it just of course a female boss yeah The combat looks cool, though. It looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks good. It's interesting. That looks so good. Full demo that Media will be playing this weekend, so you'll hear much more about that. And that's going to do it for our Summer Game Fest live show. Thanks to Joy for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. I Go away, such Joy. An amazing time. Go Happy back into the gym. Fest, Stop eating bonbons. Thanks, Joy. And we have so much Get in shape. More, so stay tuned. Get in shape. Day of the Devs is coming up live right now. Take care of yourself. Hour of indie game reveals. You're not going to live long at that weight. And that's it's not going to work out for you. Direct. Now keep checking summergamefest.com for other event streams this weekend, and we'll see you again live this August 20th. Oh uh, wait, what? 20th in Germany for Gamescom opening night live. But there, there's going to be a Gamescom? It, okay, so we're just going to keep going with this. Or whatever. Um, all right, well. Hi, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, see ya, man. Um, okay, freaking A. Let's skip this. I'm, I'm getting frustrated with these ads. Okay, so anyways. Um, so that's it. That's the presentation, bro. Um, the... the Previous presentations have been really woke and bad for gaming. And gaming is just... Uh, what the frick is this? Uh, I don't even have to say anything. You know, just as clearly as I do, this is bad. You know, just by looking that really like only two or three of these games are really that legitimate to be considering. Everything else, I don't know what the frick we're doing here. Um... I kind of regret being here. Honestly, I'm questioning whether or not I should even cover this at, at all in the future, okay? This sucks. I'm not interested. I hate it. Um, games are being given presentations for, they're just not good anymore. They're not that interesting anymore. They suck. 
And whatever the heck games used to be, gaming used to be, I don't know what it is, but I'm just getting frustrated because games are just not, they're not cool anymore. And honestly, like gaming has become lame and gay. If you saw State of Play, you're like, what the frick is this? This sucks. And yeah, yeah, it does suck. So anyways, man, um, apparently we're going to have another presentation. I forget what it's for. It's going to be coming up, I think, tomorrow or in the next few days. So whatever. Uh, we'll be back and we'll see if it's worthwhile seeing the next presentations. If this is a true waste of time and they're not really showing anything of worth, I'm not going to bother too much then in the future with this stuff. It's just that it used to be that you'd see cool games, right? But now everything's lame and gay. So anyways, man, that's it for this.